Hey, Earth Signs, it's your girl Tasha, a.k.a. Mama Jim, a.k.a. Jim the Butterfly, and this is your weekly forecast for the week of April 1st through April 7th, or 8th, 7th. Um, all right, so let's just see. I have not taken a look at the cards, and you did have a pop-out card, so let's see what we have here. All right, you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're trying to find your way in something right now, or some of you are just really working. I feel like... You're trying to find your way around a um, a financial situation. Um, it feels as if to me, it, it, what I keep hearing is that the original plan did not work out. So it's like you having to go back to plan. You're having to go to plan. For some of you, it's not even plan B anymore. It's like plan D, C, Okay. Um, and it may be getting you a little frustrated. I feel like for some of you maybe having some issues. I'm sorry. There's a, the sun here. Um, maybe having some issues with, um, maintaining focus right now, especially at work or maintaining focus on other areas outside of life besides money. Um, I feel like money could be a, a very prominent focus this month, bringing in money very much so. Cause I feel like some of you may be behind on your bills and it, it feels like there's an air of stress here for some of you okay let's see what the general energy is dang y'all we got the scythe um air signs had sight is it uh the sickle is it air signs nope fire signs had the sickle so this is something coming out uh needing to be eliminated at the beginning of the week yep the moon in reverse middle of the week knight of wands ha <laughs> ha Yes, problems getting solved by the end of the week. Let's see, the devil in reverse. And your love card. Wow, okay. Is the wedding. Okay, so what I'm feeling for you this week, Earth Signs, is that there is a very strong um, need to buckle down. Okay, and I do. I feel like it's really revolve, involving money. It's involving spending habits. It's involving um, what you what you allocate your time towards, or who you allocate your time towards. Um, if it's not about money, it's definitely about time. It's it's. It's about also starting at the beginning of the week with the moon here in the reverse. I, again, like I told you before we start, I'm sorry, guys. I have my window up and I think my neighbors are out there renovating or doing something. I don't know what they're doing, child. But I saw a man pull up with a truck and, uh, full of stuff. And I was just trying to get a birds. Hold on. But anyway, um, this is feeling overly emotional about something. Okay. Um, overly emotional about a, something that has involved a, a level of commitment from you. Okay. Especially you. I don't feel like this has to do with anybody else. This is about you. This, this week to me feels very reflective. It feels like, you know, it feels like you are going deep within in order to come up with some type of solution. Okay. Cause again, like I said, I feel like you have tried something and it worked for a little while. Then it didn't. Then you try something else and work for a little while. And then you just keep finding yourself at the same point. And to you, it doesn't feel as if that you're, pro it doesn't feel as if you're progressing or that you're not progressing fast enough. It feels like you get to a point and then you have to back away again. Um, and so it's, it's really wearing down on you emotionally. I feel like for some of you, you may be feeling as if the problem like you're going crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can I do? Like, or what did I do to bring this upon myself? I feel like for some of you, you may be having a hard time sleeping, especially at the beginning of the week. Let me get another card for the moon card. Yeah, <clears throat> precisely. So, um, <laughs> there is. For you, it's just too much stress, okay? You have two major arcana cards here at the beginning of the week. And then you have the card of the, scythe, the sickle, which is in the traditional Lenormand deck, the card of the scythe. Um, and that's talking about there's it's a need to eliminate something. There's a need to cut something away. Um, whatever's not serving you at this point, because I feel like for you now, it's a matter of your emotional stability, 
Okay. And it's like, you are trying to do for some of you, you're trying to do so much. You don't have a time for yourself. I feel like, um, and this just could be, you know, with work, kids, you know, outside activities, whatever you have personal is it, love relationship, whatever. It's, it's so hard to balance it all. And I feel like you've been trying and you, I, I give you, um, an A for effort earth signs, but it just, something is just not adding up to you in your brain. Okay. And it, it has to add up. It has to make sense. And something that you're doing feels like it's not making sense. And so instead of, I feel like you get into the point of, instead of trying to wreck your brain to try to, you know, come up with another plan again, you just pretty much, you're saying, fuck it. Okay. You're saying fuck it. And I feel like at this point in time, you with three major arcana cards in your just a week alone. I feel like the, the fuck it attitude is very much appropriate because by the middle of the week, that's what I see, you know, with the Knight of wands here, I don't feel like this is necessarily a person. I feel like this is the energy that you're taking it on. I feel like for some of you, it is whatever that you can eliminate out of your life whoever you can eliminate out of your life, whatever you can do to make your life flow a little easier, whatever you can put away to the side that you don't, you're going to decide. Like, I feel like I'm hearing and I'm seeing the serenity prayer. So it's like, you know, if I can't, I can't deal with it right now, I'm not worrying about it anymore. I feel like, cause right now it's really fucking with your self worth. Gotta be straight up with you. Okay. And like I said, some of you do. You know, if you need somebody to talk to, please go talk to a good friend, go talk to a counselor. Um, you know, if you have a spiritual advisor, you know, it's time for you to talk to somebody because I feel like you are, it's just like everything is just piling up on you on top of an, on one on top of the other. And you just cannot deal with it all. And that's why the hangman comes in. Okay. Because the hangman comes in to say, listen, release. That is another card about release and letting go and surrendering. Okay. Taking on what you can do and letting God, letting spirit, letting source, whoever you believe in handle the rest. Um, because you simply realize that you cannot do it anymore. I feel like that right now for, for you, that your sleep is messed up. I feel like, you know, for some of you, there's a lot of confusion right now in your head. You can't think straight. And it's just like, you know what? Fuck it. And I feel like for some of you, this is really, you're going to come to that, that, that place. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's just like, I don't know what it is going on. And it feels like to me for some of you, and again, this is a general reader and may not apply to everybody, but for, you know, a specific person, something's happening Monday night that brings you into the energy of Tuesday. Like, you know what? I can't even deal with this anymore. By Wednesday, you are like, okay, we're going to try something new. And I love this energy for you. By the end of the week, you have the devil in reverse. It's like whatever you've been holding on or that felt that made you feel like you were entrapped within a situation, you're not allowing yourself to do this. Now I am hearing for some of you that if, you know, if you're in a relationship situation and somebody, you, this could be negative thinking or feeling as if you don't have everything that you need. Feels, feels very root chakra ish. I don't know if that's a word, but I made it up. Um, it feels as if you're ready to jump out there. Um, I feel like for some of you too, maybe with this eight of pentacles in reverse is that you've tried to keep yourself on some type of straight and narrow path or pre-designed path. And you, by the middle of the week, you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not, I, I can't, it seems like every time that I try to do something the right way, it does or, or perceivably, which is the right way, which you have come up with yourself. I hope you guys follow me. Um, I realize that I feel like for some of you, you realize that every time you try to plan out something to see and, and follow it to a T, it still does not work out for you. So it's just like, you know what, what's, what's the fucking purpose? I'm just going to go ahead and just let all of this shit go. And I'm going to just move forward. Whatever happens, going to happen, whatever be, we're going to be. And that's just what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't have to, you, it's, it's too much on you. Okay. Again, I, I, I see this so strongly and I feel it for, so strongly who, and, and for some of you, it's a person and this could be a Capricorn person. Um, and, and I'm, and I know I'm reading for earth signs, but I feel like it's another earth sign particularly a Capricorn, maybe even a Virgo, or for some of you, you know, you could be, this could be an energy towards you giving off towards somebody, but I feel like somebody is allowing another person to have a hand in that into making that they are not doing enough. And, um, it is it, 
For some people, it could be that they really aren't doing enough. And for some people, they are doing everything. You'll know where you fit into this thing, okay? But whatever it is, if you're not doing enough, I feel like, you know, you're going to get the fire up under your ass and you're going to move forward. If you are doing too much, I feel like you still, you're going to take the fire from under your ass and you're going to give it to somebody else. And, it, that, you know, you're not going to, you're going to do what you can and whatever you can't do, you're going to be okay with that. It's like, the, it feels a very strong air of people pleasing, right now and it's like you know what I, i'm not gonna do this anymore um it's something about you saying that you can't do it all before in the past used to make you feel like as if you were not shit and i feel like for you by the end of the week you're gonna realize that you know what just because i can't like there's an understanding here that just because i can't do something or it, you know i if i'm able to um Something about you saying no. You're going to be okay with... Oh, guilt. You're letting... I hear it. Guilt. It's not... It, you're not having guilt about something anymore. I feel like for some of you, um, it's all about releasing. This week is all about releasing. It's all about letting go to things that you have no control over. Whatever it is, it's like you're trying to control your destiny in a sense, but you're realizing as if as much as you can control it, you can't control it. I hope you guys follow me with that. Okay. And I feel like that's what the devil is like. You conquer, you conquer some type of internal demon over the course of the week. All right. Um, that's, that's, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You, and it feels like for you, you feel so much freer by the end of the week. Let me get one more card at the end of the devil. Yeah. Four swords in reverse. I like that card. Cause you know what? It, it, to me, when sometimes to me, if this four of swords was with the devil card upright, those two cards were upright. I feel like it makes, it makes me feel as if you become a victim of your own thoughts. And I see by the end of the week, you're not being a big, a victim of your own thoughts. You are definitely, you're thinking, but I feel like you're thinking at the end of the week is not so much internally, but more externally as far as um, what can you handle outside of yourself instead of inside of yourself. Okay. Now, whew, wow, guys. Okay. This is about to turn into a full fledged reading for wedding right now. I feel like for some of you, this could be um, all of this. What I talked about up here could be in response to a marriage. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, <laughs> this, yes, yeah, this situation involves marriage. Um, I feel like for some of you too, I want to get one more card. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, how much more clear can you go? You have.